Hi everyone, it's Izzy here, and I am uh, out here doing my project, finishing it up, and uh, I pretty much got it now. Um, I didn't show you guys uh, step by step uh, of what I uh, was doing because honestly, it was uh, it's hard to hold a camera and show and you know and attach and figure out. You know, I was figuring out things as I went along, but believe it or not, I finally um, I got it. I was able to figure it out. I'm so happy because now all I'm waiting for is, uh, you see, we, all we got is blue skies out here in South Florida, but all I'm waiting for is a good rain to come uh, to be able to uh, harvest all the rainwater, you know? But anyways, I'm just gonna flip the camera around now and just show everyone what I did and how I went about doing everything. Um, it it was uh, it was a little bit of a challenge, honestly. It was the first time I ever I ever did this, so you guys have to bear with me uh, as I uh, as I explain everything. Okay, so with no further ado, I'm going to show you guys uh, the end uh, the end product. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys. So this is what you're looking at. Now, let me show you. Let me step back. So there's my uh, recovery tank or the tote, the water tote, okay? And uh, I'll tell you how this whole thing works now. Okay, basically I got, uh, I figured it out and uh, I ended up getting, it's about 25 feet of gutter and about 10 feet wide. So I got 250 uh, square feet of uh, roof. Of water that I am going to be collecting I can attach the other side the front side of the house later on but for now uh, for all uh, testing uh, you know purposes I'm just going with this but anyways the water comes down this pipe okay this pipe here comes down okay I don't know if you can see this and then what happens is over here I'm going to show you over here let me step back okay so over here the, the the water comes down and basically goes down this is what they call uh, a flush system so basically instead of the water going to the tank the water comes down comes down here and fills up each one of these tubes okay um, so all the dirty water from the roof you know all the bird droppings leaves all that crap that comes off the roof basically goes down the pipe goes into the uh, this these three tubes all the settlement all the dirty water ends up inside this chamber over here there's little bleed holes on the top of each tube so uh, as as it rains the water level starts to rise up the tubes okay now uh, there's a calculation when you're figuring out um, the, the the amount of square footage to the size pipe and the and the length of pipe you need um, to to collect uh, the 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 right amount of dirty water before you start putting the clean water or the you know the rainwater into your tank. So basically, it's like this. I'll just give you a quick rundown. So it's um, if you have a three-inch pipe, which is what I have here. These are three-inch pipe. That one is a four-inch pipe. But three-inch pipe, three feet long. Um, there's a there's a a calculation of uh, uh, 0 0.0125 okay so for every thousand uh, square feet of roof you calculate um, you multiply it by that you know by uh, 0 0.0125 if you're using a uh, if you're using a, a three inch tube if you're using a four inch pipe okay then that number changes to uh, uh, point zero five zero, if I remember correct, it's some number. I'll, I'll post it on uh, on the uh, on the YouTube uh, on the uh, description. But anyways, there's a calculation for every three feet of pipe. Um, you uh, 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 every three to, uh, three feet of pipe, uh, three inches one, you know, three inches in diameter, is approximately. Um, uh, two and a half gallons of water okay so I put three pipes in and then I put and then I put um, 
the four inch pipe holds more water, of course, uh, and I believe it's uh, two gallons per uh, every three feet. So anyways, long story short, um, I have sufficient, more than sufficient amount of uh, piping for the amount of collection. In other words, I, I did a little bit of overkill because I really want the water to be uh, clean and pure. You know, I, I want the, the, the water to be inside the tank as clean as possible, contaminant free. Okay, so anyways, with that being said, so basically this is what happens. The water starts raining, the water comes down this pipe, comes down here, and the water starts dropping into this pipe. Inside this pipe, I put a water bottle in there. Actually, it's a... Um, it's more like a, 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 a one liter bottle of uh, soda, anyways, with the cap on it. So basically, it acts as a float. And what happens is, as the water comes down, the float comes up. And when it gets over here, it, it stops the water from, from passing here. So when it stops the water, because this chamber is all full, uh, then the water can't go down. So obviously, it's forced this way, up this pipe and into the tank. Now, I did put, I didn't finish this, but I did put a, a uh, overflow pipe because you need some, you need a venting system. So what I'm going to do here is put a piece of screen and a, and, a, and a 90 degree with a piece of pipe coming down, you know, coming down away from the house. But basically when, when it uh, fills the tank up and it, it's full to the capacity, then this pipe here, the, the, all the overflow, the runoff, just keeps coming out of here, basically. So, there you have it. So now, like I said before, it's 275 gallon tank. That's the spigot on the bottom. Uh, these are the chambers. Uh, they're not, nothing here is glued. Everything is I screwed together, uh, basically, because I don't want uh, any glue, any, I don't want to glue the plastic uh, because of contaminants. Uh, they say it, it contaminates the water, the glue. I don't know how true that is, but anyways. And you can see that it's also leaking. You want it to leak because um, as the, when it stops raining uh, and then, you know, the sun comes out, you want these chambers to empty out. And basically with a drip like this in 24 hours, there's no more water. And then it, uh, the bottle drops back down and it basically resets for the next, uh, for the next uh, flush, okay? So um, that's there you have it. So I'll try and make another video when when we get rain, you know, uh, I'll be out here to show you uh, how it uh, fills the tank, you know, just do, do an update. So for anyone that has any, please don't hesitate to, uh, to don't hesitate to, uh, you know, leave them down below. OK, so basically for now, I'm done with the, this project. I did add. Uh, well, let me. Nah, I'll do. I'll do a next video on my um, on my uh, hydroponic garden. I a I added. You know, I have a vertical garden. I added a horizontal pipe because I had a uh, four-inch pipe left over. So um, I added a uh, four-inch um, horizontal pipe, which I'm going to make a planter out of it. You know, water uh, hydroponic uh, planter. Uh, I, I want to try it that way. Um, to grow tomatoes okay so um there you have it so uh until we get some rain in south florida have a great day be well so long